Do you know that 2.5 exabytes of data is generated every day? And organizations like us receive more than 950 uh, GB of data every day. Well, naturally the question arises. What do I do with so much of data? How do I know that which data is important to me and which data is relevant to my client? That's where we security data analysts comes into the picture to steer us towards the data which is vital and decisive. Hello everyone. This is Soham Kulkarni, Security Data Analytics Production Manager, and I'm here to talk about present and future of data analytics in cybersecurity. Now, this is a painting by a famous Bavarian painter, Albrecht, who accompanied Napoleon on his invasion to Moscow in 1812 to 1813. Now, uh, this campaign, also uh, known as a French invasion of Russia or the Russian campaign, is nothing but an attempt by Napoleon Bonaparte to force the Russian Empire back into the continental blockade of United Kingdom. Now, uh, this invasion is considered to be one of the most lethal invasions in the uh, world history. During this invasion, uh, Napoleon was uh, wanted to uh, separate and destroy the armies which was going from United Kingdom towards Russia. Now, Napoleon started with almost over uh, 4,50,000 men and 1,50,000 horses. So, when he started from, uh, from his place uh, going towards Russia, uh, the total army uh, was uh, affected due to reasons such as extreme temperatures, extreme weather conditions, hunger, and uh, once they reached uh, Russia, they apparently found out that Moscow was already with no resources and they had to return back. So starting with over five lakh people, lost over one third of men. Now you probably are wondering that what is this picture exactly doing in data analytics uh, presentation, right? Well, sit tight. This is uh, one of the earliest known representations of events by Cart, also known as Minard's uh, representation, where uh, he presented Napoleon's invasion uh, towards the Moscow in this one particular diagram. This graph tells about a lot of things. First, it tells about geography. So as you can see that uh, the Russian army was starting from Kono and it headed towards the east, which is towards the Moscow. You can see different uh, countries and border lines at that point of time and different rivers as well, as you can see over here. So this tells about what the geography was. The thickness of this line represents the total number of people uh, along the way. So he started with 4,22,000 men. So you can see that the line is the thickest over here. And as they proceeded towards the Moscow, the number of people went on decreasing and decreasing and decreasing. The black line indicates their journey back from Moscow to again back to Kono. So again over here, you can see that when they reached Moscow, they were with 1 lakh people started with 1 lakh people, and when they returned again back to Kono, there were only 10,000 people. Next, it tells about the course and the direction, as well as it tells about what all the battles that they fought along the way. Next thing it tells about is the temperature. Now, here it represents at every point what exactly was the temperature. So at every point when the temperatures were extreme, we, they have lost a massive number of people. And also it tells about the time, what time, what uh, at what time basically where the army was. So many things can be represented in one single graph. And this is what data analytics does. Do you know that? over 300 million logs are processed in just 45 minutes of call. Well, if we extrapolate that to a week, it goes up to 60 billion. And if I just make someone count from 1 to 60 billion, it would take that person more than 1000 years. Well, that's insane. So in order to process this, data analytics is a very helpful tool. What is data analytics? 
data analytics is nothing but a process of uh, assembling aggregating cleaning interpreting and transforming data to draw insights and conclusions in the same context what is security data analytics security data analytics is nothing but an approach towards cyber security that uses the use useful security information, useful security data. It uh, aggregates in, uh, in order to the, uh, uh, the goals which are not met by the traditional uh, practices like mitigating the cyber threats. Now, uh, data analytics can be classified uh, majorly into four purposes, four different types. One is descriptive analytics, which tells you nothing but what what exactly has happened during that event. Next is the diagnostic analysis, which tells about why that particular incident or the particular event has occurred in that duration. The third thing is the predictive analytics. So in data analytics, we uh, gather all, uh, a lot of data and depending upon that, we have descriptive and diagnostic analytics. But using this existing data, we can leverage this to find out different patterns and these patterns can help us to predict the future action. And the next is the most advanced type of uh, analytics, which is nothing but the prescriptive analytics, which tells us uh, any particular client or a customer uh, a particular course of action which uh, they need to follow if uh, in any kind of situation, depending upon the patterns, uh, the existing data and the pattern which we have analyzed. So what is exactly uh, that we can achieve by coupling data analytics with cybersecurity? First is uh, fine tuning the intrusion detection system. The current intrusion uh, detection and protection system can be fine tuned with the help of uh, analyzing the existing data, existing logs, uh, which can anticipate worms, viruses, malware, and uh, cyber attacks. These predictions can be leveraged uh, to fine tune the detection system and can help strengthen the cybersecurity system. Second is discovering the possible breaches and attacks in uh, rapid time. Now, as you know, that once we uh, have the data, we form a pattern uh, out of it. This can help in, with a close time analysis to help discover the possible breaches which can happen in the future. Uh, just to give you an example, in 2018, uh, organization took almost 196 days just to detect one breach and another, uh, another 69 days uh, to have this breach uh, mitigated. That's a huge uh, amount of time, right? So any hacker can possibly have its own uh, malware entering into the organization's network, camouflaging it, and uh, we might not even detect that it is present and it can remain until uh, in the network for uh, eternally as long as like years and uh, days and which can um, you know, steal information which is vital to uh, the, that organization. So this is a very important result that we can achieve with the help of data analytics. Monitoring workflows breaches are very difficult to catch because these intrusions usually uh, has legitimate credentials of a particular employee. So these uh, intrusions being very difficult to catch, how can we uh, how can we uh, you know mitigate them, right? So monitoring workflows with the help of data, data analytics is one of uh, can be can prove very useful for this. We can uh, Analyze if some person uh, is trying to access an information which he or she is not supposed to um, uh, access, or if some person is uh, uh, accessing the information in uh, unusual periods uh, of time. These kind of workflows can be monitored with the help of data analytics, and that can help us to predict the uh, attacks. Protecting data more efficiently. The data protection systems to to way authentication or multi-factor authentication. These systems have evolved with the cybersecurity, but but when we couple this with uh, data analytics uh, algorithms, we can help reinforce these traditional practices of protecting the data, and we can have uh, it done more efficiently. So uh, you know, in 
uh, order to conclude this, uh, I can say that definitely uh, data analytics uh, when uh, we combine it with cybersecurity can help us uh, not only with our traditional uh, practices, but also can help us uh, strengthen our own uh, cyber security and uh, help us predict the future possible attacks and breaches and strengthen us towards uh, building a organization which is more secure. Thank you so much for this. Uh, if in case you have any doubts, please get in touch with our team. The details are mentioned below.